Are you having pain with intercourse after having your baby? You could be having insertional pain or deep thrusting pain. And in this video, we're going to talk about what's causing those problems and what you can do about it to be able to enjoy sex again without pain. Hi everyone, Lynn Schulte of Intuitive Hands Physical Therapy in Boulder. I'm a women's health physical therapist and I am your postpartum recovery expert. So today I want to talk to you about pain with intercourse. This is a huge, huge issue that I am so passionate about because I, I've heard from way too many women that have come to see me that, you know, they're having pain with intercourse and they go see their doctor and their doctor's like, well, everything looks okay, just try more wine or use more lubrication. And the things I'm going to talk to you about today, there's not enough wine in the world or enough lubrication to help you with these problems if this is what's really causing your pain with intercourse. So um, there's two types of pain with intercourse and one is insertional pain. Let's talk about that first. So insertional pain means that the pelvic floor muscles are not able to open up and relax enough to allow the penis to come in. And so the pelvic floor muscles are the issue. So if you tore during childbirth, you created scar tissue in there, that scar tissue inhibits the uh, muscle's ability to relax and expand. Um, so scar tissue can be one issue. A birthing pelvis can still can cause the same issue with increased tone in your pelvic floor muscles. So we've talked about how in when uh, we birth and give birth, the baby comes out, these, these ischial bones here, these are your sit bones that you sit on, they splay out to the side, they open up, they, and then the sacrum and tailbone here, they come back down, my pelvis is falling apart, so appropriate. Um, <laughs> so the sacrum needs to open up in order to allow that baby to come out. So um, if these bones are still in that open birthing position, our pelvic floor muscles actually attach to all of these bones here. So can you see how if this is wide open and it's you know further apart than normal, those pelvic floor muscles are gonna be stretched and then they're gonna be like a tightrope and they're not gonna be able to expand or stretch anymore and that's what's gonna create um, pain with penetration. The third issue that can cause pain with penetration is your bladder not being happy and in its proper place in your pelvis here. So the bladder sits right behind this pubic bone here, right where my fist is. And the bladder actually is like my hand here. So if you can think of this as the bladder itself, and this is the urethra, the bladder gets smushed off to the left-hand side, most typically as a baby comes out. And so um, it, it uh, gets smushed off to the left-hand side and puts a kink on this internal sphincter. I've talked about this in the stress incontinence or bladder leakage video. Um, but this bladder, when the bladder is not happy, by, because it's smushed off in, 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 in the wrong space in that vaginal area, um, it can cause the pelvic floor muscles to have increased tension. And there's been so many times where I have done some internal work with a woman and I'll just put my finger in and have her contract and relax and the muscles aren't able to, to do either well. And, um, and then when I press around, there's minimal ability of those tissues to, you know, relax. They're kind of like really hard. They don't move and, you know, they should extend and, and be able to press down on them. If they're really tight and they're tender, without touching the muscles, I'll go up and I'll work on the bladder and release the bladder and get it back into its proper position. And then when I come back down, the muscles are totally different. They're not as tight and they're not as tender. So that's happened multiple, multiple times. So I kind of feel like the bladder is kind of the kingpin for this whole area. If the bladder's not happy, the pelvic floor muscles are not happy. And this has happened to me with women who haven't had any leakage or any bladder issues after um, childbirth. 
yet this is still an issue. The bladder is just a little tweaked in there. We get that happy, then the pelvic floor muscles get happy as well. So, um, you know, when if, if you're working with someone who's doing internal work with you and it's creating more pain, or you're doing the internal work and the pelvic floor muscles just are not responding, they're not staying relaxed, my first inclination would be to check out the bladder. What's the bladder doing in there? Is the bladder happy? Is it in its proper position? Because then you'll be able to relax and release the pelvic floor muscles. So we need those pelvic floor muscles to be relaxed and soft and supple in order to allow penetration to happen. And uh, scar tissue can cause that problem. A birthing pelvis can cause that problem. And also a bladder not being happy and in its proper place. All three issues can cause tension in the pelvic floor muscles and then they can't relax to allow the penis in. So that's insertional pain. Now let's talk about deep thrusting pain. And with deep thrusting pain, we have a, a schematic here of your pelvic floor muscle, or this is a cross-sectional view of your pelvis. So right here, we have your pubic bone, or pubic bone right here. We have your bladder, your uterus, and your bowel. And so if you think about this with insertional pain here, as the penis is coming in and out, can you see how all these tissues need to be able to move up and down freely in order to uh, enjoy intercourse? Well, when we've had a C-section, the C-section, if you can imagine, this, this uterus is really big with a baby in it. So it gets, you know, really huge. And so when they cut into that to get the baby out through the C-section, your scar is happening right here. And that scar tissue then forms and it, it attaches to everything and anything in this area. So uh, deep thrusting pain with intercourse is a, a problem because that penis is hitting that scar tissue. Every time it, deep, it thrusts deeply in, it's hitting scar tissue and causing the pain. So it's like it's hitting a brick wall in there and that brick wall is the scar tissue from your C-section. So if you can come in and if you think about, let's see here, you're, you're laying on your back here. This is your pubic bone in front. If you can come down and, and um, work deeply in the abdominal tissues and release that, that can help free up this tissue so that things can move like they need to with intercourse. I have another video on this channel that um, is how to massage your C-section scar. So um, please check that out and that can help you decrease your deep thrusting pain with intercourse, okay? So hope that's helpful. Um, we got to release the pelvic floor muscles and you got to release the scar tissue from your C-section uh, surgery and then you should be able to enjoy intercourse again, okay? The other piece that I do want to mention though is that sometimes these tissues can be very traumatized from the birth. If your birth was really traumatic, these tissues need a lot of TLC. So please find a practitioner who's going to treat this area respectfully. And um, I really like the work that a lot of the holistic pelvic health uh, pelvic therapists do. You can find their information on uh, wildfeminine.com. You can find a practitioner there. Um, a women's health physical therapist can help you out with either of these issues, but please make sure that they work with you extremely uh, respectfully to these tissues. It's not about um, forcing them to release. We need to help get rid of the trauma first so that the tissues can then relax. All right, so good luck, everybody. Know that it is possible to enjoy intercourse again after having a baby. You just got to get the tissues. See, the thing is the doctors don't, they look at the tissues and they go, well, it's all healed. It's all good. You know, just try more lubrication because they're not checking the mobility of the tissues. These tissues need to be able to expand and move in order for intercourse to be enjoyable again for you. So make sure that's happening for you and then you'll be able to enjoy it again. All right, good luck. I hope you get there and reach out if you need any help. All right, take care. Bye.